watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your time and thank you for letting us connect with you. We like to connect with you and we consider it a tremendous privilege and an honor. You know, I was thinking about this and we all love Psalms 23, the 23rd Psalm. I love this Psalm because it really speaks to the heart of who God is as our shepherd and God being a good shepherd taking care of us. So hop on the phone, get on the website. There are lots of areas in your life where you need God to take care of you. Maybe it's in your finances, maybe it's in your relationships, but you just have areas in your life where you need God to take care of you. So we want to pray for you that God would help you with this. So get on the website, get on the phone. We love to pray for you and see God do amazing things in your life. And you know, Mom, I'm so excited today. We have Dr. Bob with us. Yeah. Thank you for having me. It's always so a pleasure. I'm so Thank glad. You. Love it. Thank you. Dr. Bob, we have a new book called The Guide to Prevent to prevent surgery. It's not remedy, it's to prevent it. That's exactly right. Love that. Love that. Because if you can prevent a problem, <laughs> better than fix and trying to fix the consequences of a problem. So one of the things you talk about in this book is about heart health and, and about problems with people struggling with their heart surgery. So what about that? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting that you bring it up because like the number one killer in our society today happens to be heart health and you could have people that are absolutely what they think are normal and then you hear a week later they they passed on for whatever reason so what i have learned from my experience and i've been practicing since the 1970s is the leading cause of heart challenges and most challenges that we live with day to day is inflammation i.e fire so these individuals actually have fire going on inside of their body that's causing the inflammation. And there are many reasons for that. So in this vial happens to be sugar. Sugar probably causes more inflammation and more health challenges than any other food on the planet. You can see it's pure, white, crystalline. Nothing good is with sugar. Sugar is a robber. Sugar's like the devil. Tastes good going down, but just like in Proverbs, like that glass of wine on the bottom, and it bites you like a, you know, right, like a right. snake in the morning. In the end, so yeah. this is about how much sugar there is in a soda, and we know that soda happens to be one of the most wow. common beverages. So I'm going to just uh, share a couple thoughts with you, then we're going to get to our model over here. So gentlemen, if you're watching right now, and there's a lady watching, a loved one in your life, there's a blood test called a CBC, Charlie Bravo Charlie. Write that down, CBC. Well, the CBC has something in it called hemoglobin. And if you're a man, and right now, and it could be a lady, if your hemoglobin is high, hemoglobin, do some search on this yourself. And I want you to search something called ferritin. It's kind of like a ferret. Ferritin is iron. Just write down the word F-E, and you can do some search on that. What I've seen in our practice only in the last year are men coming into the office that have high iron high iron in their body, which you'd think is good, but it's not. Their body, their blood vessels are inflamed and rusty. So I have encouraged our male patients, drink more water, helping that liver, because a lot of this has to do with the liver. You may in fact need to give blood to get rid of the extra iron that's inside of your body. We're seeing it now more and more with ladies also. That's just a little side note that I wanted to share with everyone. But what we have right now, is our model, and I'm gonna actually take the heart off, but before I do that, let me show you something. The liver has a blood vessel. This is important physiology right now. The liver has a blood vessel, it's actually a vein, that goes back into the heart. This is very significant, we'll turn it around so you can see it. So the blood flows through the lower legs, up through your liver, on the way to your heart. I'll say that again. It flows from the legs up through your liver on the way to your heart. So if your liver is plugged up for whatever reason, usually sugar, refined foods, maybe consuming a lot of medications, maybe processed foods, well, what happens is the blood flow is stagnant up into your heart. So we have found that some of the leading causes of heart problems is due to the fact someone has a compromised liver. So now we open up the inside wow. of the heart. That is wow. so cool. So oh. inside of the heart, we have valves and we have blood vessels. 
So what I have learned over time is this. There are certain foods, would you like to, <laughs> I, I felt it. Yeah, there I'm are, like, oh my goodness, this is so cool. There are certain foods that cause inflammation <clears throat> that have sugar in it. So let me tell you a story. When I have people come into our practice and they have back pain for whatever reason, we take a side film, digital x-ray, high technology. If we see a large blood vessel in their abdomen, called the aorta, here's the beginning of the aorta, but it goes right down into your abdomen. If that aorta is compromised or calcified on the x-ray, we know that their body has been inflamed. One of the worst foods that'll cause heart problems is ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream is the flame floor to the human race because ice cream has sugar in it. Mm -hmm. And then it mixes with a protein, which is the dairy, which causes the right. inflammation. So when people have inflammation in their aorta, they're gonna have inflammation around their heart. So the best way, the best thing that anybody could do to help prevent heart health problems is back off the sugar and back off of fake oil, corn oil. Actually, safflower oil could be an issue because it causes inflammation. Soy, canola oil, we don't promote canola oil. I'd rather have you use coconut oil, but Go to the Bible. What are the, what are the main oils of the Bible? Flax and olive. Right. We know that olive is important because it's the oh, very yeah. first branch that came from <laughs> Noah's ark. Right. Hello, is that that's like important? The only other thing that would have been good to that olive branch would have been an avocado on the other side. <laughs> that was probably the second bird that came back. I love back. it because avocado avocado is olive oil in uh, to go pox. Nice. Don't you love it? <laughs> avocado is your friend. Now you tell all this in your book. It is in the book. So listen to me, heart problems, that's the number one thing that causes death. That's very key for you to know about and to exercise knowledge in, but you know people who are doing it all wrong that probably not gonna be a very good thing for them if they don't have knowledge. So look at this, not only for you, but as a gift. You know, you give people flowers, they wilt, you give them candy, you make them fat. That's right. Give them something that will change and transform their lives. So call in right now. Get two or three of these books. They're not that expensive, my goodness. And your health. Folks, you can have a lot of money, but if you don't have good health, you're not going to enjoy it. Mm. And your heart. Oh, how important your heart is. That's right. So call us today, and if you have things on your heart that you need prayer for, hey, we have a wonderful team who will pray. So, you know, we're for you here, spirit, soul, and body. So, you know, another, uh, there's a lot of issues that we could talk about. This is a tool <coughs> called an oximeter, a pulsometer. And this is a way that you could measure the oxygen inside of your body. And we did this while we were off camera a few minutes ago. Right. So this would be just a tool to get. And it's really significant. If you do decide to purchase one of these, you get them almost at any store. You want your oxygen level to be 95 or greater. But I want to break a little bit of a, of a myth here. Cholesterol is not the reason that we have heart problems today. Briefly stated, cholesterol is a steroid. Cholesterol is a building block for lots of important hormones inside of your body. So I just said something key. So cholesterol is up here. It is the main foundation. But down here we have something called stress. Stress uses up cortisone. Cortisone takes away pain. Well, if you're eating a lot of cookies and if you're underneath a lot of stress, your body makes more cortisone. So just because your cortisone is high does not mean you need to take a drug to lower the cholesterol. You need to drill down to find out what am I doing? Am I eating a lot of sweets like Dr. Bob said? Do I have a lot of stress inside of my life? Am I exercising regularly? Am I spending time with my family? Or am I on this merry-go-round that has disconnected me from life? And I know that uh, people are always concerned about eggs. I've always said yes to eggs. Preferably organic eggs are the best. Perfect food. There's something inside of the yolk called lecithin. And lecithin helps emulsify the cholesterol inside of your body. But we need to talk about Dr. Bob's ABCs because this does really work. A half a red apple every day. You know, it all started in the garden with fruit. A half a red apple every day. And people are going to say, well, what about a whole apple? Well, half an apple has uh, 12 or 11 grams of sugar. A whole apple has about 22. So we're really wanting to watch the carbs. This will help thin bile all the way. 
It's a very, very important food. I eat that every day. I eat this every day. Even when I'm on the road, I always find beets. Some, you can find beets anywhere. So this will lower your cholesterol 40%. So between the two of these, these have more potential to lower cholesterol than famous drugs do without any bad effects. One side effects, red stool. That means red bowel movement. That means when you go to the bathroom, you'll see red in the toilet. And finally, the carrot. Dr. Bob's ABCs. If you're watching me right now and you have little floaters in front of your eyes and they're caused by a vitamin A deficiency, you eat this medium carrot every day, those floaters will mysteriously, magically float away. This and your is cholesterol awesome. is lowered. And you use what they call ABC juice? Yep, we drink it at home and I love it. Yes. Can't get enough of it. I think it's yes. awesome. And yes, I don't give yes. a rip about the stool stuff. I'm like, this tastes delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it totally tastes yes, good. Yes, Getting to it here, Absolutely. Aren't we? Now, there's something I want to share with you. Um, my family had a history of heart problems. So, you know, they said I had a heart problem, and when I was 23, I couldn't be active. <laughs> Is that funny? I'm 85 <laughs> and more active than in my 40s. So, I believe these kind of principles, no matter what the history is, can help you build a healthy heart. Am I right or wrong? You know, I want to congratulate you for saying that because I think, when, as I read all this, everything you're doing is enhancing, ready for this, the genetic potential in your body. So you made po positive genetic choices. There's positive genetic choices and negative genetic choices. You made positive. So every time that you're eating right food, you're putting the good switch on instead of shutting it off. And that is so important for it's us. It's very important. Extremely important. And again, I want you to call in with your needs for prayer, but please call in and get the book. And you think you've received a lot of information? Stay right there. Education is power, and the application of education is wisdom. And wisdom for our health is key. For your gift of $35 or more, we want to send you Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery. In this latest book, natural health care provider and chiropractor, Dr. Bob DiMaria, shares with you how healing your body from the inside with a pure diet and exercise can go a long way in preventing unnecessary operations and procedures. By changing your habits and lifestyle, you may naturally reverse many common ailments that in the past have required surgery. Along with Dr. Bob's book, we will send you Maryland's teaching CD, Eight Ways to Heal the Sick. Discover the depths of God's healing power and eight unique ways he releases it. And to complete this life transforming resource, we will include our healing scripture card with 11 powerful promises from God's Word that directly speaks to your health and healing. If you or someone you know needs healing, you must get this powerful offer. Call or click today. Is God cooking for you? <laughs> you say, oh, this program with all these body parts and all these things going on. But folks, if we can get hold of truth, I'm telling you, truth sets you free. Amen. A lot of junk and trash that people are having and suffering from, if they knew the truth or practiced the truth, it could set them free. And we have Dr. Bob with us telling us wonderful truth, massive truth. Don't leave. Watch this. This has to do with your heart, how key that is. Talk to us about the heart. Well, we're going to actually talk a little bit about something that's associated with the heart. It happens okay. to be the lungs. And you know what? I've been really blessed because this information, this is all God-inspired information because this is 
what we see in our practice. So there's a huge issue. So the book is about information that I've learned. Now this is gonna sound really wild, but I had a guy that came in to see me that was snoring and he had sleep apnea. Mm -hmm. So they did the, the tubes inside of his nose and you know trying to get him to have more oxygen. Well, they ended up whittling the back of his throat. Oh, whoa. Yeah, for sleep oh. apnea surgery. They took away the back of his throat and they oh. took his little uvula, the little thing that hangs yeah, down. Yeah. yeah. They took it out of there, you know, like it's do not remove stickers that we've talked about in the past that we have yeah, yeah. inside of the book. Or put it in your mouth and say, do not remove because they did it. So I really started analyzing this. I thought, I do not want to have, I want to have answers. If you came in and said, listen, I'm having an issue with snoring, what could you do? So there's a lot of things that we, we want to talk to you about. What's really significant is, are the lungs. So the lungs are located here inside of your body. So we'll leave those lungs there, and then we'll bring the models that we used to use before anatomical specimens. These are sponges. So think of your lungs as sponges. And as your posture is compressed, your lungs are impressed, or compressed less oxygen. But this is significant. Inside of the body, that's why I brought this here, these are organs. Now this person has a nice tight abdomen, probably had a six pack. <laughs> but you and I both know that this is an oxymoron in America because most people have this right. pack. They have a little pony keg right here. Well, it's not a joke, but the fact is when you have that, that all pushes up this way, and guess what it does to the lungs? It compresses them. Right. So oh, people who have a snoring oh. issue right. who are <laughs> overweight, right. God bless them, but they have to take their hand out of the cookie jar. Yeah. Because what's gonna happen is, is that probably one of the best inventions of time has been these fitness trackers. Mm -hmm. Because I was having people come into my practice, because you have to understand, I've been trained clinically, clinically as a chiropractor, but I also have a Doctor of Natural Health degree. So I had these ladies were coming in and said, Dr. Bob, guess what? I said, I don't know what. I slept the best last night. And I said, so they would have had a spinal adjustment that innervates the nerves that go to the lungs, so they were sleeping really good. So fitness trackers really opened up my eyes to all of this. Nice. So if your posture is better, your nervous system is better, and your lungs are better, that's going to help a lot. But another challenge that we have right now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can really smell that. There's a little bit of uh, cocaine sugar in here, is wheat. <laughs> wheat throws off your metabolism. Wheat takes minerals out of your body. When you don't have enough minerals in your body, your heart cannot beat properly, which impairs blood flow to the lungs, which impairs oxygen in the body. So this is just not one quick fix. We're looking at the whole body. Obesity can be an issue. Poor posture can be an issue when it comes to sleep and sleep apnea. This happens to be copper. So wheat, takes zinc out of the body and it increases copper. When somebody has too much copper, they're going to bed at 10 o'clock at night, their eyes are closed, their body's exhausted, but their brain's going 100 miles an hour because they have an imbalance of zinc and copper. And finally, we have the ever-trusted opportunity clock, the alarm clock. We want you to be in bed by 10. Those hours before midnight are important for restoration. But if you want to have a deep, restful, peaceful sleep, minimize grains, you really want to make sure that you're going to be doing your very best to increase that extra weight. <coughs> deficiencies are very common in people who cannot sleep well. Very, very important. One last thought is that people watching right now may have a problem with caffeine and sleeping. If you're the type of person that says, I have to stop drinking coffee at 4 o'clock in the afternoon because the caffeine keeps me up, it's not the caffeine. It's your liver not being able to process the caffeine. So bringing this wagon train on home, sleep apnea, which is incomplete sleep, can be caused by a variety of challenges. Too much caffeine, too much wheat, overweight, not drinking enough water, Poor posture, ladies. So our goal is to improve everybody's sleep because there's a lot of people that are taking sleep aids out there right now to sleep through the night 
So sleep apnea is your inability to have restful, peaceful, full night's sleep. Hmm. And one last thought, if you go to bed at 10 o'clock at night and you wake up at 11, it usually means you need B vitamins, B as in Bravo. But here's the big one. If you go to bed at 10 and you wake up at 3, it's usually blood sugar stress. Your blood sugar is bottoming out. You might be someone that might want to have a few almonds before bed. You know, something that's mid-glycemic so your blood sugar stays even through the nighttime. And if you do decide to do any juicing, you may want to limit it to about 8 ounces in the morning. I've had people drink 16, 24 ounces. That's a lot of juice that your body has to process. I love all of this in your book. It is. I mean, this is really wonderful because I talk to people all the time about sleep. I don't know how many people have told me, I don't sleep well, I don't sleep well. And you know, you think that's terrible because when you don't sleep, it affects everything. When I've gone without sleep, ugh, it's just an awful, awful day. But to hear such simple things, I just think this is outstanding for you. So be sure you call in and get the book, but don't just get it, read it, pass it on, get more than one book to pass on, and know that God has sweet sleep for you. Mm. I love this. And if you have loved ones that are having health problems, sleep problems, any kind of a problem you might have, of course we have a prayer team because Jesus wants you well, spirit, soul, and body. We're putting a lot of emphasis on your body because your body affects you in so many ways. And so I encourage you today, this is one of the most important programs you have ever watched. Believe me, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. You know, the other thing I like about this book, Dr. Bob, is it's preventative. That's exactly right. And I love that, because remedy is always a lot hard to deal with. Preventing, nice, super good. But it's also preventing surgery. I like too that you've uh, isolated or drilled down on key, very, very common, common surgeries that are happening worldwide, I mean, all the time. So you talk in here about gallbladder, you talk about uh, thyroid, you talk about the... Ear tubes and tonsils mm -hmm. and gallbladders and hips mm -hmm. and carpal tunnel surgery. Mm -hmm. It is so common. Yep. So we deal with a lot of common challenges that we see in our practice. Yep. For over 40 years. Yep, and I love that you have that as super just down to earth, real practical guide. And one of the things you always say, let food be your medicine and, and medicine, medicine be, be your, your food. food. I say that, like that rolls around in my head at least five times a week. Okay, okay, where'd I hear that, Dr. Bob? So I just encourage all of you, grab several copies of this. This is a great resource for you um, in your own family, but also for your friends, for your neighbors, for your relatives. It's a very essential, essential tool to help you stay really healthy and fit. And really, Mom, we can't do what God calls us to do if our bodies That's are kind of compromised. And I would say to you, because I've known Dr. Bob so many years, that this teaching is the way I live. It's my lifestyle. So when I hear all of this, I think, yeah, I learned this early from him. And look, I'm 85 and healthy, and I'm more active than when I was in my 40s. You tell me it doesn't work, honey, it's too late <laughs> to tell me it's already worked. And I want it to work for you. And that's very, very important. And if you haven't called in and gotten your book, this is your opportunity. Do it, don't put it off, do it now. And remember Jesus loves you, wants you whole, and he came to give us life and life more abundantly. Education is power and the application of education is wisdom. And wisdom for our health is key. For your gift of $35 or more, we want to send you Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery. In this latest book, natural health care provider and chiropractor, Dr. Bob DiMaria, shares with you how healing your body from the inside 
with a pure diet and exercise can go a long way in preventing unnecessary operations and procedures. By changing your habits and lifestyle, you may naturally reverse many common ailments that in the past have required surgery. Along with Dr. Bob's book, we will send you Maryland's teaching CD, Eight Ways to Heal the Sick. Discover the depths of God's healing power and eight unique ways he releases it. And to complete this life transforming resource, we will include our healing scripture card with 11 powerful promises from God's word that directly speaks to your health and healing. If you or someone you know needs healing, you must get this powerful offer. Call or click today. a miracle today? What about a miracle for your heart? What about a miracle for your sleep and where you are? Dr. Bob, we invited you for information, but also for the anointing that you're going to pray for these who are watching right now. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for hearts of people. As you just emphasized to me, it's not only heart health uh, anatomically, but we pray for the emotions of the heart because it's all flows out of the heart. So if you have someone in your life right now that you have some issue with, just go and make restitution. We also thank for the physiologic aspect of heart, those cravings of food that I know have been just demonically placed in this uh, planet with processed food, taking out the life. So Lord, I pray for who's ever watching right now that's even thinking about having heart surgery, do an about face, because Lord, I know a miracle can happen. And I know that people are looking for restful, peaceful sleep, because restful, peaceful sleep is when people make growth hormone. So Lord, if someone has anxiety and worry, which are probably the number one reasons for people not to sleep through the night, I bind that demonic force of anxiety and worry, because it says in the Word, you can't even grow an inch worrying about that. So we thank you for the hearts that are being healed right now in the name of Jesus. And I am thanking you once again for all the people that are having restful, peaceful sleep and love everybody. Amen. Hey, do you know what's happening to you? You say, well, what, what do you mean? I believe you're getting a turnaround. So put your finger up like this. Say, I believe today. I believe today. I'm getting a turnaround. Amen. Because you see, we are getting a turnaround through knowing what God promises, through the anointing that destroys the yoke, through just practical things that work, people. I love this. God has given us a body. He wants it to be blessed and He wants us to honor it. Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. We are so thrilled that we get to minister to you on YouTube. So, of course, you got to hit the subscribe button because we want to continue to get to connect and at your convenience. That's one of the things I love about YouTube is you can watch at your own convenience. And when you subscribe, then you get all the latest and the greatest.